Before this video even starts, thank you so much for those of you who reached out to me on Instagram and told me that I inspired you or that you're doing the Chloe Ting challenge also. I love this community that Chloe's built and it just is so inclusive and everyone's so nice. So thank you so much for everything and for watching my update videos and leaving such positive comments on them. It really means a lot to me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is week 11. I got a lot of positive feedback on my last video, so I decided to keep doing this and it really keeps me accountable. So for the people who don't want to see it, you don't have to watch, but I got a lot of you saying that you wanted to keep seeing my journey and everything. So thumbs up to that. Can't believe we're on week 11. I love Chloe Teen's workouts, as you guys know. In this video, kind of like in the middle, I'll put the timestamp on the screen is when I talk about why I love Chloe Teen's workouts. But first, let's start off with just what I did during the week, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. The 28th of March was the first day I took a day off of my normal workout routine. I did not do a thing on Saturday and we kind of just took the day off like with everything. We didn't really do much. So honestly, like that's a big deal just because I've been going at these workouts for 10 weeks straight on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I took Saturday off, don't have any footage for that. On Sunday, I got back in the gym or I should say my living room and I did the 30 minute workout with the 11 line abs and the arm workout and I love all these workouts because they're very like focused on each body part and again the 11 abs definitely advanced I would start out with a flat stomach two weeks before you jump into the 11 abs just my opinion so moving on to Monday the 30th of March I did the 45 minute workout great workout if you're just looking for full body working on certain parts of the body highly recommend just the 45 minute one and then I also did the 11 abs again this is very specific and very tough I would say so if you really want to feel the burn highly recommend that nothing on Tuesday Tuesday is a rest day for me I think rest days are very important just kind of like how Chloe Tang says so I take Tuesday and Thursdays off Wednesday the 1st of April I did the 15 minute workout and the 11 abs again Wednesday is a work day and I'm very grateful enough to be able to work from home right now so I am working kind of my normal schedule only at my house so I did those two workouts and then nothing on Thursday. Friday, the 3rd of April, I did the 20 minute live video. So if you didn't know, I think on Saturday, Chloe Ting did a live stream where you could work out with her. And like I said before, I took Saturday off, didn't really do anything. So I decided to do that today. It was so cool because it was literally like working out with a friend. I really liked that format. You could kind of hear her breathing in it heavily and stuff and it's just, it made me feel like I wasn't, you know, the one suffering over here. We were both like in it to win it. Obviously you can modify a lot of the exercises, but I tried to not. I had to modify like one exercise and that was like the side plank crunch because I really couldn't do that. But I recommend that one if you really, really want to feel the burn and you are on a time limit. And then I did the arm workout. So the regular 10 minute toned arms. And then I did the flat belly challenge, the ab workout. This is not the 11 ab workout. It's just the flat belly two weeks one. I did that one because it's Friday. I didn't really want to push it too hard. That is what my week consisted of. So moving on, this little section is the update part where I'm just going to go through stuff during the week, notes that I've taken. The first note, and this is part of the reason why I didn't work out on Saturday. I was so sore from the plank exercises from the 11 line abs workout. And my fat side rolls, my side fat rolls, <laughs> Okay, you know, we all love them, all right? But they were so sore. Like, I feel like I worked out muscles that I have never even worked out in my body ever. So I was actually feeling them. It's literally, it's right here. It's where the love handles rest. We also had a little snack-a-thon. So um, this week has not been good with food. Like, let's just touch on food for a minute. We're all in self-isolation, or at least if you're not, please stay home. Um, I touched on this on my Instagram a little bit, but my uncle has a lot of the symptoms, basically to a T 
of the coronavirus and yeah it's kind of scary but he's getting better so no need to fret but still it's real guys like don't take it lightly please be serious about it a lot of people are um, suffering but I have been <laughs> not eating well let's just say that I have been trying to like if I am gonna have junk food but for the snackathon we had if you watched one of my previous vlogs then you would see that we had hot dogs and chip and dip and I had a coke flow I'm still finishing off the ice cream so basically in a nutshell I have not been really really concentrating on what I'm eating all right so moving on this is the third point I wanted to bring up before I get into like why I love Chloe Ting's workouts third point is breathing now I don't know if like I have adult asthma or something which I don't really want to go to the doctor not hospital obviously it's not I don't know it's not hard for me to breathe but also I don't think I have asthma or anything because I'm trying to breathe correctly so I'm trying to train myself um, in one of Chloe Ting's how to breathe right or like really engage your abs she said to breathe in kind of like to your diaphragm you know how singers breathe that I think that's kind of how you're supposed to breathe during the workouts so you're supposed to breathe into here not your lungs and then when you breathe out you're supposed to tighten your core because you're supposed to be breathing into your core and then when you breathe out it's like you tighten everything which totally makes sense but it's really hard for me so I'm really trying to work on that I don't know it's just in the recent times and maybe it's allergies too I just had a hard time breathing which sounds bad but like don't get me wrong like, I'm I'm totally fine so I'm gonna get into why I like Chloe Ting and then we're gonna get onto the pictures so I've been wanting to make a whole dedicated video on why I like Chloe Ting and her videos and her workouts and everything but I don't want to make so many videos about just working out some of my audience likes my vlogs some of them like my Disney content some of them like my advice or story times so I want to keep Fridays kind of as workout related stuff so I have been talking to a couple people about why I like Chloe Ting because some of you guys shared with me uh, another video about this guy who works out and stuff which is so cool um, but I really enjoy Chloe Ting's and I explain that in some of my messages so I'm just gonna read off the list this is one message I sent to somebody I said I like to work out with someone at the same time I'm not smart enough to remember exercises. I don't like stopping the workout to look at the next exercise. So if something um, was on my phone, like a PDF or a, I think Blogilates had something that one of my friends, Jessica, was doing. She had like the photo and then like she'd have to like look. I don't like that. If you're going to stop the workout, your heart rate will lower and I don't think that's the really the best thing and if you're really like pushing it you really shouldn't do that because you should always like try to keep moving i also don't like to work with equipment and i know it's basically what you prefer but i prefer not to work with a lot of stuff we do have some weights but i don't know i'm a dancer the most that we ever used was like leg weights which i might get out because i do have them but i mean all this equipment maybe i'll get that advanced and that inspired to do that but at this time not really i'm just really used to just working out my body with my body if that makes sense that sounds weird but anyway so that's one message that i really really like also i sent this to one of my friends i love her she reminds me of myself because if you watched her live on saturday she was kind of just talking about what she preferred she likes working at home and just everything like that but when she was talking i was just like yes that's me that's me so she's not on a particular diet she answered that in one of her lives i think um that she's not like on a strict diet you know keto or vegan or vegetarian or anything and i'm not either that's why I, like I do these videos because I don't have a specific I just really do the workouts I try to not overeat but I'm not on a specific diet also she doesn't like working out in gyms which I hate working out in gyms like I don't know it just intimidates me I don't know anyone maybe if I went with like a gym buddy or like I had someone but also again I don't really like working with equipment it's not for me really at our old house when we lived in celebration we had this like indoor gym and we did have a lot of equipment obviously no one used it uh, my parents obviously didn't use it um no offense it was like a teal room we had wood flooring a mirror everything also I wanted to add in here I can't count okay this sounds ridiculous this sounds like i have problems but i really don't when i'm doing an exercise i cannot count because i'm like okay one two and then when i get to like the 15 16 like 
I don't know what it is, but maybe I'm concentrating too hard on the workout or something, but I forget what number I'm on. And then I'm like, oh no. And then it, it gets all messed up. I don't like counting. I don't know how people count and listen to music at the same time because I'm trying to listen and jam out to the song and imagine myself dancing to it, but I can't because I'm too busy counting. So I don't know how people turn on music, count, there's just, and then try to work on their workout. There's just too much, too much. To focus on. I was also saying that some of the, I won't name any names obviously, but um, some of the workout people on YouTube, I've done their videos in the past and oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If I can't feel the burn and if I'm not dripping in sweat, I honestly feel like I've wasted my darn time because I want to feel the burn. Like I want to feel that I'm like actually making an impact on my body, even if it's a little bit too challenging for myself. Like I want to feel that. Definitely Chloe Ting's workouts are definitely not a waste because you feel it so much. And then um, what else did I want to say? I had like a list in my mind. Also, I like Chloe Ting because she doesn't talk too much. In general, I have very happy, positive person in her videos, but it's not like cheesy happy, okay? It's not like, oh my gosh, guys, we're working out. Like, why are you so excited to be working out? Like, calm down. And then, well, in her live, she talks a little bit more than her normal videos, which is totally fine because like, I'm a fan of her. So this is side. There's some people in their edited videos that actually like talk during the workout and they don't be quiet. And in my mind, I'm just like, please be quiet. I'm trying to like work out and like not, have someone constantly talking to me because I can't focus. It goes back to like, okay, I want to focus on my workouts. So I like the fact that in her edited videos, she's very like, okay, the next one we're doing curtsy lunge. And she's like, make sure to do this and this. And then she's quiet and then you do the workout and listen to the music and then the timer's up and you hear the beeps. But I also do like her talking and everything in her live streams because it's more relatable. But it's not like she's always like, you got this, like, let's go. Like that, it's a little too much. All right, I think that's it for why I like Chloe Ting's workouts. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments or DM me on Instagram. Now let's move on to the photos. So, Guys, I'm just gonna say I am going to start my period in a week, so I'm a little bloated. Um, and as I mentioned too, my diet hasn't been well. So this is kind of pointless and I'm ready for the comments of, I can't see a difference. So um, anyway, this is the front view you're looking at. Alex on the left is last week. Alex on the right is right now. And here's the side view of that. That's just what it looks like. Um, honestly, I think it looks okay. Um, I don't think I'm like gaining any weight too rapidly or anything. Obviously, this is my favorite part. This is Alex on the left pre-workout and then Alex on the right now. And here is the side view of that. My little fat roll, look at her on the left. And then that's pre-workout Alex is on the left and now Alex is on the right. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I answered the question of why I like Chloe Ting's workouts and the way she does things on her channel and everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you are inspired or doing this workout. I know a lot of you guys are and I would love to see your photos too. So make sure to use the hashtag on Instagram, Chloe Ting Challenge, because I'm following that just to see the community and everything and it's super fun don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye